Everything you do matters. Every moment, every decision you make, it affects the people around you. It changes the world in a million imperceptible ways. Just once, I'd like someone to come up to me and say something new. Mr. Castle? Where would you like it? Castle, why is it so important to you that I believe all this stuff about fate? Miss Catherine Beckett, what's this? Oh, an ex is getting married. Do you remember Will Swanson? Your old FBI squeeze? Yeah. Oh, man. You're so lucky I came along and saved you from that life. Wait, you saved me? That's like something Castle would say. You like him? I don't know. I think he's interesting. You ever stop and think maybe I was waiting here from you? Do you know what these bodies are? A sign. A sign? A sign. A sign from the universe telling us we need to solve this case together. You don't want to let the universe down, do you? You're not going to go away no matter what I do, are you? I respect the universe. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, where would you be? If you weren't around to distract me? Yeah. Um, I would probably be captain of my own precinct. Wow. Yeah, so let's just say for a moment that you and I did meet each other. Where would that have been? At my book party. You came to me, you asked me to consult on a copycat murder. It was six years ago, your hair was short then, it was adorable. Had I not been bewitched by you, I think by now, I'd be working on my second bullet. So we're bad for each other, huh? The worst. You just happen to end up shouting her? Must be fate. Everything I've ever done, every choice I've ever made, every terrible, wonderful thing that's ever happened, it's all led me to right here, this moment with you. Under normal circumstances, you should not be here. Most smart, good-looking women become lawyers, not cops. And yet, here you are. You went to college, a well, pretty good one. At Stanford, I was pre-law. You had options? Yeah, you had lots of options, better options. I was looking into a case, my mom's homicide. It was someone you loved. And you probably couldn't live with that, but the person responsible was never caught. It's over. And that Detective Beckett is why you're here. The case that made me want to be a cop, I was never able to solve. I never could have done this without you. We make a pretty good team, you and I. Like Starsky and Hutch. Turner and Hooch. You do remind me a little of Hooch. Mm. If it wasn't for him, for that day in the woods, would I even be here? That day in the woods, Kate, that's why I do what I do. I'm driven to figure out the story because I could never figure out that one. Would we be here? We're here because of who we are. We have met before. I never told him I stood in line for an hour just to get your book signed. Okay. On a book tour for an old Derek Storm novel. I used to love those books. You never told me that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Why did you kill off Derek Storm? Do you want to know why I killed Derek? There were no more surprises. I know exactly what was going to happen every moment of every scene. It's just like these parties that become so predictable. Life should be an adventure. Think about all of the great times that you have to look forward to. I'm writing up a list of priorities from the future. New mountains to climb. I guess I just thought that I would be in more of a leadership position by now. Richard Castle lives in New York with his wife, Senator Beckett, and their three children. Senator. Three kids? Kate, you're bigger than what you're doing now. You know it. It's why you went to D.C., why you took the captain's exam. We think you have an amazing future. Doing what? We'd like you to run for New York State Senate. They said that I aced my captain's exam. I could probably have my own precinct within a year. When do you have to decide? Soon. You will meet an Alexander, and he will be extremely important to you. My given name is Richard Alexander Rogers. What a coincidence, isn't it? Well, whatever's next, I don't want to have to compromise my priorities to get there. You cannot leave behind what is always at your side. Never, I, never I never want to be guilty, guilty of leaving behind what matters most.